Welcome back guys, back here with the tutorial on how I create my fungal dominated teas. So I'm going to take you through a process of what I have done over the past couple of days to, well, achieve this. So over the past couple of days, uh, we've had tons of uh, nice days. So we, I took my whole milk. Now I took my whole milk, my gallon, cracked my little, little bit, and set it outside for about four or five days. So what you'll get is curdled milk. So when milk starts to curdle, it itself is just bacteria. So by taking that whole milk, I will add it to my half a bottle of water in my spray bottle. Now if you are using uh, or needing bigger amounts of, of uh, fungal dominated teas, you can up this dosage. I will take any of my sprayers, doesn't matter if it's a one gallon or whatever. So take, just say, half your bottle or sprayer, fill it up with water. Fill it the other way, halfway up with your milk, leaving enough room for one tablespoon of fish fertilizer from Alaska and one teaspoon of molasses unsulfured and put it together in my spray bottle mix that up make sure it's all yeah blended together spray down your worm castings now this is the worm castings from my local worm uh, worm farm they distribute worms so all different types so I will spray my dirt down with that solution and then I will take my quick oats two cups of quick oats one cup of azomite blend that together and have it pulverized into a powder powder and then I will mix this into here again uh, mix it all up, make sure it's all thoroughly mixed up, and then I will again spray it with my solution of uh, whole curdled milk, my fish fertilizer, and my molasses. Spray it down again, and then put it on either a hot plate. Now, I will just put it on a hot plate uh, covered. So when I cover it, I will cover it with... I just have a piece of plexiglass so just imagine this is plexiglass I will leave this just slightly slightly uncovered just slightly just so it creates a uh, it's just like really humid in there you'll remove the plexiglass and see the moisture dripping off the plexiglass so every couple of days, maybe even once a day, I will take my solution of what I have mentioned that I put in this bottle and spray down the dirt just a little bit. Now the oats, now the oats are gonna be what helps the plant or the dirt create this fungal spores that you see everywhere you can just see it growing everywhere now this is going to have tons tons of beneficial properties to your soil to your plant just creating a well-balanced ecosystem for your plants to thrive in that soil is its home so make the plant happy and create this well-balanced ecosystem between beneficial bacteria, beneficial uh, fungi, just teeming with microbes, teeming with fungi. We are creating a happy home for the plants to thrive in. Now, like I said, this worm castings, it is beautiful worm castings. I get this stuff from I get this stuff from uh, a local worm farm, and most times when I get the bags, they have tons of worms in it, so 
you know it's uh, you know it's healthy soil. So, Gromies, let me know how you create your fungal dominated teas and when you start adding them to your garden. Never too early to add one of these fungal dominated teas. So, what I will be doing is adding these probably two or three more times to the garden before the season is over. So, stay tuned. Let me know when you add your fungal dominated teas, how you add your fungal dominated teas, and what is your process? What do you use? Hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on YouTube, wherever it's more convenient, but yes, let's chat. I'd love to find out more, so stay tuned.